Okay. We are working on Engage New York Grade 4, Module 5, Lesson 1. So starting with number 1, draw a number bond and write the number sentence to match each tape diagram. The first one is done for you. So starting with letter B, we can see that 1 is the entire whole, and it shows that right here. So below that, we have 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths. So we can see there are four different parts that create up that one whole. So we know that our denominator is fourths. And above that, we can see that there's 1 fourth and 1 fourth. So we have 2 fourths. So that is our equation right there. And we can also see it's broken up by, right below, if we move this over, so we have 2 fourths and for our number bond we have 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. So we have 1 fourth here and 1 fourth here. And that is our number bond which can also be shown as 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 2 fourth. Letter C. So here we can see that it is one entire whole and in that we have one, two, three, four, five pieces. And of those we have one, two, three out of our five shaded. So three fifths is our number, is our fraction. And what is making that up? So in this shaded section right here, we have one fifth. And in this section, we have two fifths. So our number bond is one fifth and two fifths. And that gives us our number sentence of, whoops, one fifth plus two-fifths equals three-fifths. Okay, for letter D, we can see that we have sixths is what we are dealing with. So sixth is our denominator, and we have one, two, three, four, five highlighted. Five-sixths. And for our number bond, we can see we have three-sixths, are highlighted and two sixths. So we have three sixths and two sixths is our number bond. And we know that means our number sentence can be five sixths equals three sixths plus two sixths. For E, still we're working with one whole piece and we have and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is our denominator. And three of those are highlighted. And our number bond is two eighths and one eighth. Two eighths, one eighth is our number bond. And that means three eighths equals two eighths plus one eighth. And for F, now this one's a little tricky because we actually see that one hole is actually right there. And in that hole we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we actually have another piece right here. So we know within this, each of these is one fifth. So we have one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth and one fifth and that equals one whole and then we actually have one more fifth out here so we're dealing in fifths but we actually have six of them in total highlighted so six fifths and if we look at here we have one two three four five five fifths and one fifth five fifths one fifth. 
So 6 fifths is equal to 5 fifths plus 1 fifth. On to the letter G. Similar situation here. So we know for our one whole, it's actually 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have two more pieces outside of that. So we have 4, and we have 4, 5, 6 fourths. For our number bond, we have 1, 2, 3, 3 fourths. And we have 1, 2, 2 fourths. And we have 1 fourth. So we actually have three pieces in this number bond. And we'll have 3 fourths, 2 fourths, and 1 fourth. So that means our number sentence can be 6 fourths equals 3 fourths plus 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. And for our final number line, um, similar situation, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is our one whole. And we actually have 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12, 12 eighths. And in that, we have 3 eighths, 2 eighths, 1 eighth, 3 eighths, and 3 eighths. So we'll actually have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different pieces in this number bond. So we have 3 eighths, 2 eighths, 1 eighth, 3 eighths, and 3 eighths. So our number sentence can be 12 eighths equals 3 eighths plus 2 eighths plus 1 eighth plus 3 eighths plus 3 eighths. All right, draw and label tape diagrams to match each number sentence. So what we're doing is basically what we saw above, just we will be um, creating the tape diagram and working off of the number sentence. So here we can see our denominator is 8, so we are going to be working in eighths. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we have 5 eighths, so 5 of those, 3, 4, 5 of those eighths, and this is 1, are shaded. And how that ma is made up is 2 eighths, so we have 2 eighths, and we have 2 eighths, and we have 1 eighth. Okay, for letter B. So now we're dealing with eighths as well, but we have 12 eighths, so we actually have more than eight. So once again, we're going to start with eight. And eight is our whole, but we actually have 12. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And in that, we have 6 eighths, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have 2 eighths, 1, 2. And we have 4 eighths, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 eighths is the extra piece. That's also up here, too, so 4 eighths. Now we have tenths. So, might not have enough there. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
So 10 is our whole, and we actually have 11 tenths. So we have one more tenth. And in that, we have 5 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 tenths. Another 5 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that has actually created our whole, 2 5 tenths. And we have one more tenth. So 5 tenths plus 5 tenths plus 1 tenth equals 11 tenths. Now we're dealing with twelfths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have 12 pieces make up our whole. And we have 13 twelfths. So we actually have one more twelfth. And in that, we have seven twelfths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven twelfths. We have one twelfth. One. We have five. One, two, three, four, five twelfths. And for E, we have one and one fourth. So we know we're dealing with fourths as our denominator. So a fourth is our whole. One, two, three, four. But we actually have an entire f four fours is one, and then we have one more, one fourth. So here is our one, and there's our extra. So we have one right here, one, and one fourth. One is the same as four fourths. And for one and two sevenths, we're dealing with sevenths. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have one, which is right here, and two more sevenths. One, two. So we have 1, which is 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sevenths is 1. And then we have 2 sevenths. 1 and 2 sevenths. 